recently discovered my love for bike jorts. I also love to make my own clothes. You can see where I'm going with this. I have these shorts from New Look that I really like the design of. They have long enough leg length to cover your thighs, high waisted and my absolute must have for any item of clothing, pockets. Now I don't know if this will be much of a tutorial as I was kind of making it up as I go but hopefully I can explain what I did well enough for you to follow along. Otherwise just sit back and enjoy this journey with me. To start I made a rough sketch of each piece that make up the shorts, the front leg, the back legs, the side panels, the pocket and the waistband. Looking closely at the stitching I could work out how the pieces were sewn together. The seams on the top were sewn last so working backwards I could make a rough plan of how I could sew my shorts together. This is what my plan ended up as if you're interested. On to choose a fabric. I went to my local fabric shop and found these two lycra fabrics. I thought they would be a good enough stretch and still nice and breezable for the hot summer months. Although it doesn't look like we're getting any of those in the UK anytime soon. Although I did make the mistake of getting a striped fabric. With striped fabrics it's usually best to keep the stripes going all in the same direction. So for a first attempt at a project I thought this might add a layer of difficulty that we didn't need. So the fluorescent pink and orange fabric it is. I may come back to the striped fabric if the first pair turns out okay. On to making the shorts. I wanted to make a paper pattern to start. So using my original pair I roughly traced the shapes of each of the pieces I would need. I wasn't too worried about exact measurements as the material is stretched so approximate is fine. I did this for all the pieces including the weird crotch triangle bit. <laughs> then cut them out leaving as much space around the patterns as I could so I could clean up the lines and add seam allowance. Taking each piece I cleaned up the straight lines and the curved lines as best as I could. Added a fairly small seam allowance and remembered to add extra length to the legs for the hem. Once the pattern pieces were neatened up, it's time to cut the material. first piece to sew is the front legs. Right sides together, sew them together. You'll have to pin in place with a lot of pins. The lycra fabric is quite slippery, so the more pins the better, so the fabric doesn't slip. Choose a matching thread. I went with the most vibrant fluorescent pink thread I had. To start I thought a tighter zigzag stitch would be the best stitch to use. This ended up just eating the fabric and I found it very tough to sew with. I ended up unpicking these stitches. After a bit of trial stitching on some scrap fabric, I found my machine's elastic stitch was the best to use. This allows the fabric to still have the stretch and no fear of breaking the stitches while I'm wearing the shorts. After I put in the initial stitch, I wondered if it would be good to put on a top stitch or something similar, just as extra reinforcement and to hold down the raw edge inside the shorts. This idea definitely made the seam extra strong, but it does look a little funny, so ultimately I decided this probably wasn't needed, and a single zigzag stitch should hold it all together. Onto the pockets. The idea is to have a pocket on each leg. I fold down the top of the pocket to create a nice clean hemmed edge and did the same to the other pocket at the same time, so I could make sure they were the same height overall, sewing a straight stitch to hold them in place. I then fold over the top edge once more and pin into place. I didn't sew this down yet though. Now take one of the side panel pieces, position the pocket roughly where I want it to sit and turn down the pocket. So right sides are together and the pocket piece is facing down the side panel. Pin the bottom of the pocket and back to a zigzag stitch to sew the bottom of the pocket. I went over the stitching a second time to make sure the pocket was secure and nothing could fall out the bottom. Do the exact same with the other pocket and side panel. 
onto the back legs and weird triangle crotch piece. Using the example shorts, I figured out the base of the triangle goes towards the back of the shorts. The point of the triangle will be towards the front. Pin the triangle in place and zigzag stitch the one side of the triangle to one of the back legs, matching the curve of the inside leg. Taking my time to make sure the curve of the leg and the side of the triangle were matched and the fabric wasn't bunching up. I again went over this stitch twice to make sure it was not budging as this is where you really don't want any gaps or rips. Take the other back leg piece and lay right sides together. Again match up the curve with the side of the triangle and also the back legs at the bum section. My phone ran out of uh, storage so it stopped filming halfway through but this bit is done. <laughs> all along here. Catching the edge of the triangle so there's no gap in your crotch. It ends up looking like that. It's now so the leg seams, crotch and inside leg seams together. I'm actually going to start in the middle. So the middle of the triangle lines up with the middle of the front piece. So now, so one wrong there. Time to put in the pockets. Temporarily back to voiceover Ellie for the pockets. I pinned down the sides of the pockets, made sure the top rolled hem was nice and flat, pinning that in place through the panel too. Then line up the front of the shorts, make sure your pocket is right way up too. I added extra hem to be able to hem the shorts off the bottom, but I forgot to put that hem on the side panel. So the shorts might be a little bit shorter then. I planned, but that's okay. Just do the same thing with the other panel on the other side of the front leg. So now to fold up the back and sew that side together. Onto the waistband. The waistband pieces are double thickness, so there are four pieces. The pieces were sewn in pairs, right sides together, sewing along one edge. Then open the piece out and sew the seam flat to one side of the waistband. This makes one neat edge for the outward facing side of the waistband. I use some clips to hold this in place, pushing the seam right to the edge. You could normally iron press this down, but with the lycra I didn't want to risk burning or melting the material, so the clips work just as well. I did the exact same thing for the other pair of waistband pieces. To attach the waistband pieces together, I had to take off the last clips to be able to open out the waistband and have the side seams lie flat, right sides together making sure the front facing sides are the right sides together too. With the middle seams lined up, pin then sew in place. The waistband is now one nice and neat loop. I use some clips again to clip down the seams, 
so they were exactly where they needed to sit. So the waistband is a lot smaller than the shorts. So I'm just going to do a very long, a long stitch around the top edge of the shorts so I can gather them a little bit to hopefully make putting the waistband on a little bit neater. I'm going to change to stitch six and just quickly, without back stitching, quite close to the top, just put a line of stitches all the way around. Stop there, no back stitch, just leave quite a long thread. So now I have here these that I could hopefully, there we go. I think I'm going to be need to do too much so I'll just start with that and then space that out. I broke the thread. <laughs> My cry is not easy to gather. Slightly gathered as best I could. Flip the waistband upside down. Find where the middle of my side seams. There. Just gonna mark those. So when I put my waistband, the side seam of the waistband matches with where side of the shorts are. Clip. There. Doing the same to this side. And then it's going around and pinning the waistband to the waistband of the shorts. Trying to get the gather fairly even. So that's going to be quite difficult, I think. And then it will be just so round. This is the back where it's slightly more ruffled. I try to. So this is probably going to be stretched out anyway because of my bum. <laughs> but the front is hopefully slightly. As I'll see a few gathers because it needs to be. But that's the shorts together. They look like shorts. So I'm going to just do a quick hem. I obviously forgot about the extra length in my side panels so it's gonna have to be hemmed to at least there anyway but they're still pretty long. I might cut off the excess here just to make it slightly easier but they're basically gonna be about that short. So I will hem those up and we will see what they look like when they're finished. I'm either wearing them in the next clip because they're fine to wear and they're they're fine. But I might also not be wearing them because they're not safe for YouTube. We'll see. So they do fit really well, but they are very see-through. <laughs> not safe for YouTube see-through. So I've put on a pair of shorts for underneath, but I will put these on and show you what they look like. I do really like the way they actually fit. 
they are long enough to cover the thighs and stop the thigh rubs. They come up tall enough at the back so that your bum's always on the show. I like the two pockets that I've added. The only thing is how see-through they are. I don't know whether you'll be able to tell on this camera, but in real life, <laughs> they show everything. <laughs> I do have enough fabric to do a second pair. But I think if I do another pair, I'll have to line it or somehow maybe do like a reversible pair because I have this fabric and I also have this fabric. It's the same fabric. It'll probably be just as see-through. So maybe a part two might be coming up <laughs> if I manage to figure out a way to do it. This exact pair I probably won't be able to wear in public anywhere. If they will be for home life or in my own garden. <laughs> Have to get a pickle of matching one as well. A lycra dog bandana? <laughs> no. No impressed by that idea. What do you think of the shorts? I really like the idea, but we might need to do a bit of experimenting to get a pair that's wearable in public. So if you want to see me try the reversible pair, leave a like. Otherwise, hit that subscribe and I'll see you next time.